Now we will revise on the electric lamp. Let's start with question number one. Complete the following. Number one, the electric lamp is a tool that converts what energy into what energy? Converts electric energy into light energy. Electric into light. Number two, the what is the main source of energy? Saban is light energy. So the main source of light energy is the sun. The what and what are examples of artificial sources of energy? Artificial, the electric lamp and candles. The what is the flow of electric charges or electrons through a material conducting electricity? The what? The electric current. Number five, some of the types of the electric lamps are light bulb and fluorescent lamp. The what is the most popular source of artificial light? Most popular, so it's the light bulb. Number seven, the light bulb consists of from a three main structures. One, the base of the light bulb. Two, the glass bulb. Number three, the tungsten panel. Base of light bulb, glass bulb, and tungsten panel. Number eight. The fluorescent lamp contains the inert what gas? The inert argon gas. Number nine, the filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten. That's because it has a high melting point. Made of tungsten. Because it has high melting point. Number 10, the what is a coil with thin wire made of tungsten? The filament. Made of tungsten. The electricity reaches it through connecting wires made of, from a two connecting wires made of copper and lead. Copper and lead wires. Number 11, the components of the fluorescent lamp are, the fluorescent lamp consists of glass tube, two tungsten filaments, and point of connection. Well, the what is a vacuum contains an inert gas. Vacuum contains an inert gas, so it's the glass tube. And the level of mercury and the inner source tubes uh, is covered with phosphoric material, the glass tube of the fluorescent lamp. 
is vacuum contains an inert gas اللي هو argon gas and the lessons of mercury and the inner uh, the inner surface or the inner tube surface is covered with phosphoric material next number 13 the electric circuit consists of battery and copper wires or connecting wires or electric wires and lamp the last one there are two methods to connect electric lamps which are series connection and parallel connection parallel connection question number 2 compare between series connection and parallel connection number 1 the current intensity the current intensity decreases in series connection by increasing the number of electric lamps or by increasing the number of light bulbs the current intensity or the quantity of the light or the lightning decrease by increasing number of lamps the current intensity in parallel connection it remains as it is by increasing the number of lamps remains as it is by increasing number of lamps there is what for the electric current to pass through it there is only one route while in parallel connection there is branching route or more than one route there is one route for the electric current to pass through it while in parallel connection there is branching route number 3 when one of the lamps burn out the current will not pass all lamps will turn off why because there is only one route for the electric current to pass so when one of the lamps burn out the current will not pass and all lamps will turn off while in parallel connection when one of the lamps burn out or when we cut one of the roots of the lamp the other lamp will not turn off question number 3 mention the function the function of number 1 the inert gas in light bulb it protect the filament from burning why because the inert argon gas or the inert gas in the light bulb doesn't burn and doesn't help in burning so it protects the filament from burning number 2 the tungsten filament what is the function of the tungsten filament protect the filament from melting why because it has high melting point next write the scientific term question number 1 means of the means of converting the electric energy to lightning 
it means electric energy to light energy, so it is the electric lamp. Number two, a way in which the light bulbs are connected in, uh, sorry, uh, are connected one after the other, and the light intensity of the bulb decreases with the increase in the number. Serious connection. Number three, a way where the bulbs are connected by branching roots and the lightning of the lamp is not affected with the increase in their number. So it's a parallel connection. Number four, they are known as neon lamps. Neon lamps, so it's a fluorescent lamp. Number five, the way to connect the electric lamps at home, at home, so it's a parallel connection. Number seven, so sorry, number six, the flow of electric charges or electrons through a material conducting electricity, the electric current. Number seven, a tool that converts electric energy into light energy, which is done by passing an electric current through it. Convert electric energy into light, so it is an electric lamp. The last sheet, question number five, give reasons. Number one, there are two pieces of leaves in the light bulb. Two pieces of leaves, so it protects, sorry, to connect the light bulb with electric circuit or with electricity to connect. The light bulb with the electric circuit. Number two, the light bulbs are connected in parallel at home. In parallel, there is branching roots. So, because when one lamp burn out or turn off, the other lamp will not affect it. How will be called when one lamp turn off? or burn out the other lamps will not affect. Number three, the filament in the light bulb is made of tungsten. Tungsten because it has high melting point. So it protects the filament from melting. The last question, what happens if, number one, there is air inside the ball, air, so the filament will burn. Number two, you make the filament of the light bulb from iron. From iron, so the filament will melt. The last one, the light bulbs in the house are connected in series. So when one lamp burns out, the other lamp 
will turn. Goodbye.